the last time I applied for a Capital One credit card, I was really surprised how easy it was. And uh, so the next to last time, that was like about three years ago before COVID. And during COVID, I actually applied once again for another credit card and I got declined. I was like, oh, what happened here? So this time when I wanted to apply for a new Capital One credit card, I, I wanted to do things the right way. So I took the time to actually uh, you know, do the research and everything so that I, I could be approved right off the bat. So basically, I wanted to share with you some of the latest hacks that uh, I have found out. And I, I, you know, my team and I have found out. And that was really, uh, they were really that helped me get a successful credit card application from Capital One. And I got a huge ass limit too. I mean, you know, then not a, it wasn't a small limit. So the thing is, that, you know, I first realized if I wanted to be approved, approved right off the bat, I needed to choose my Capital One credit card because the Capital One has a constellation of credit cards. But if you, ha if you have no clear idea of the card that you need, you will be spending time wasting your time actually going from card to card and you'll be denied over and over and over. So I said to, I said to myself, I want to survey the the landscape of uh capital one credit cards and i wanted to choose the card for me and, and, and my family for that matter so you know my wife was interested in one particular set of card and one particular card and i said you know let's just look at the all the cards and see what we can we can we can be we can be approved for so with capital one you have the capital one venture rewards credit card which is great for simple travel rewards you have the capital one venture one rewards credit card which is great for simple travel rewards plus no annual fee you have the Capital One Venture X Rewards credit card, which is great for travel portal benefits. If you want to get some benefits through the through Capital One's travel portal, you have the Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards credit card, which is great for flat rate cash back. So you know, so if you like someone like me, you you will love to have a 1.5 percent to 2 percent flat rate cash back. You will love this card a lot. So I actually uh, surveyed the Capital One Silver Cash Rewards credit card, which is great for dining entertainment rewards. You have uh, the Capital One Saver One Cash Rewards credit card, which is great for dining entertainment plus no annual fee. You have actually looked at also the Capital One Saver One Student Cash Rewards credit card, which is great for college students seeking bonus rewards. But I mean, it was a long time since I left the school anyway, so I, I didn't need that. But I, I, I still had to go through it just in case my one of my nephews or nieces, whatever, would benefit from this card. And I also looked at the Capital One Quicksilver Student Cash Rewards credit card, which is great for college students seeking simple rewards so the thing is i was like okay now i kind of have a, i have a clear idea about the the kind of car that i need from capital one but I, I wasn't satisfied i wanted to dig deeper i wanted to learn more right so so i looked at the capital one platinum credit card which is great for a fair credit i mean i'm not i don't have fair credit i have more than that i have excellent credit so i said to myself i'm not i'm not i'm not interested in a in a tiny ass apr i mean a tiny ass limit with a huge ass uh, apr and so I looked also at the Capital One Quicksilver One Cash Rewards credit card, which is great for fair credit plus rewards. I looked at Capital One Platinum Secure credit card, just like you know, I had nothing to do one Saturday afternoon. I just wanted to look at that because this is great for a poor credit, but I don't have poor credit. You have the Capital One Quicksilver Secure Cash Rewards credit card, which is great for poor credit plus rewards. You have the Capital One Spark Cash Plus, and now we now we're talking because I'm interested in Capital One business credit cards. So the Capital One Spark Cash Plus is great for a small business cash back. I looked at also the Capital One Spark Cash Select for excellent credit, which is great for a smart bit. Like if you have a small business, you want you're looking for cash back plus no annual fee, which is great for me because I looked at that. You know I had excellent credit. You also looked at the Capital One Spark Miles for a business, which is great for a small business travel rewards. I also looked at the, the Capital One Spark Miles Select for Business, which is great for a small business travel rewards plus no annual fee. And I looked at the Capital One Spark Classic for Business, which is great for a small business with fair credit. So the thing here is that when thinking about how to how to apply for and get approved for a massive credit card from Capital One, I said to myself, I wanted to really have a clear idea about the card that I was actually going to apply for. Because without that that knowledge, I will never know how to strategize my application because, I mean, Capital One, as I said, is a supermarket. There's a mumbo jumbo of uh, credit cards from uh, the Venture Rewards, Venture One Rewards, Venture X Rewards, Quicksilver, Silver Cash, Silver One Cash Rewards, Silver One. Like you have a constellation of credit cards. So I said to myself, okay, now I know the cards that I want. And uh, so I chose the card that I want. So I wrote down, you know, it was kind of funny. It was a uh, one Friday afternoon, or no, Friday evening. Instead of going to happy hours, I said to myself, you know, I'm going to really, really deepen the, the information, the research on this Capital One credit card thing. So I wrote down the card that I wanted and uh, I said to myself, OK, now I'm going to pursue what I really like all the conditions, all the um, 
all their eligibility requirements to be approved for the Capital One credit card that I wanted. So I wrote, I wrote down the card. So that's what I want you to do too. You want to write down the card so you have a clear idea about the card that you are after. And the next thing I did was, you know, after choosing, uh, after choosing my Capital One credit card, I really wanted to have a deeper understanding of how Capital One operates. Because the thing is that every, you know, you, you, you watch Capital One here, you watch everything about Capital One here, Capital One there. You, you saw the, the, you saw TV ads, you see uh, YouTube ads, or what have you. And then sometimes it can be really confusing. Like, you know, like you kind of ask yourself, what does Capital One really stands for? And how do, how can I benefit from it? Cause that's what I was interested in. I just, I was, I wanted to know whether I could get a Capital One credit card. I wasn't interested in philosoph philosophical sort of conversations, whatever. And I said to myself, okay, how much, what is the credit score, the minimum credit score Capital One wants? Well, Capital One wants at a minimum 600 minimum. So if you have a fair or average credit, you can qualify. Of course, if you want to have uh, the, those Venture X rewards credit card, those premium credit cards, then you will need to have like a higher credit score, 720 and above. So Number one, that was that. Now, what are the interest rates on Capital One credit cards? I wanted to have a clear idea. Now, Capital One is not cheap, though. When it comes to the APRs, they're not really cheap. They go all the way to uh, 30%, 40, like 32, 34. Like, they have, like, very high APR. So, with, if you have a new going in there, because I've been there, done that. I've been hurt so many times through Capital One credit cards. Like, I mean, hurt in the sense that they've been slapping me with uh, crazy-ass uh, fees. It's one of those things with Capital One, you cannot carry a balance. If you want to have a Capital One credit card, you don't want you don't want to carry a balance because the APR is kind of high already. Already, you can carry a you can afford to have, to carry a balance if you had a credit union credit card. Let's say you had a Navy Fed credit card. You know they're charging you ten percent, twelve percent, fourteen percent. That's manageable. Now, if you were to go with Capital One, you want to multiply that by two and a half because you can easily get like a twenty eight percent or or thirty four percent APR with Capital One. And, but the good, the good thing is that Capital One is very generous when it comes to their credit cards. I mean, you know, really, really generous. So I was, well, I was kind of, I was kind of happy. So I said to myself, okay, I, you know, after understanding how Capital One operates, I need to actually seek pre-approval because I, I wanted to preserve my credit score. I wanted to have a clear, uh, like I wanted to have a clean slate. I did not want to, uh, to lose any points on my credit score before actually uh, being sure of the credit card that I wanted. So I actually applied, I, I, I forced, if you will, a pre-approval because I, I called Capital One every day for seven days. Every day I was calling. I said, listen, I want I want to have a, a soft pull. The first day I was like, yeah, 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 we'll, we'll get back to you, whatever. But after seven days, they actually, like the following week, they actually sent me a link and I actually uh, could apply. I could pre-qualify. The third thing I, I did was I actually, so after pre-qualifying for the card, right? So I, when I pre-qualified for the card, thank God they gave me a, I think offers that I, that were interesting for me that I love anyway. But I said to myself, okay, I'm not going to apply right away because I, I didn't, again, I did not want to be uh, declined. I said to myself, if I apply this time for a Capital One credit card, I want to be approved to be approved right off the bat. So what are the things I have to do to actually uh, be approved? So number one, of course, you need to understand, you need to choose your Capital One credit card. Okay. Number two, you need to actually, uh, you need to understand how Capital One operates in terms of the credit cards. Okay. Check. Number three, I, I needed to plan my Capital One credit card application. Of course, I went through the soft pool. I went, I went through the, 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 the pre-qual process, which is great. I mean, you know, but hey, listen, at the end of the day, I don't get a credit. I don't get a credit card from Capital One through pre-qualification. I don't get a credit card through a Capital One through a, through a soft pool. They're going to have to do a, a hard pool on, on me. So for that, for me to get the card, a card from them. So how do I plan my credit card, my Capital One credit card application? So I said to myself, okay, let's go back to, uh, let's go back to credit card application 101. So what I did was I first checked my credit reports and scores. And I, and I didn't see anything derogatory, anything bad at all. You know, I was like, okay, you know, now I'm safe. Because for me, that was really important because I did not want to have anybody playing playing games with my good name, trying to open uh, some kind of a loans or op or credit cards under my name. And the next thing I know, I, I'm thinking I'm sitting here, you know, sipping some nice rosé, thinking I, I'm a, I am at the, at 750 or, or 650. And I realized that I'm actually at 660 or 640. I never did, I did not want to have this sort of a bad surprise right so that the, the, so after checking my credit reports i went back to the credit cards that i chose the first time i, I wanted to make sure that i chose that that i had chosen the right type of capital one credit card because as i said before capital one has a constellation of credit cards they have cashback credit cards they have travel rewards credit cards they have secure credit cards they have student credit cards they have business credit cards they have low interest rate credit cards so i said you know 
what do you need? What kind of cards do you need? So one last time I actually convened with my wife. I, I actually talked to her and I, I said, you know, honey, what do you think we should get? And she also confirmed the card that I needed to, to get, right? So I was, I was like, okay, now everything is fine. We're going to go with that card. And the third thing I did was I actually said to myself, what are the requirements needed to apply overall with uh, Capital One? Because Capital One has very strict requirements when it comes to uh, credit card application, no matter what, no matter which credit card you want to go after. So I said, how do I get approved for a Capital One credit card and be like, how can I be approved right off the bat immediately the first time around? So Capital One has uh, things about age. So you got to be at least 21. I think I'm, tw I'm, I'm, I'm 21 or older. <laughs> you know, Capital One will ask you for proof of uh, identification. Capital One will ask you for, let's see, um, credit score. So 600, 650, depending on the, the credit card you're applying for. Capital One will actually ask you for your, um, for your pay stubs, like your proof of income. So if you say you're making uh, 50 grand or you're making a hundred grand a year, you need to substantiate that, that, uh, that, uh, you know, that statement. And so for me, that was not a problem. I was okay. You know, I had, um, I had all, all my pay stubs. I had uh, all my bank statements. I had everything. So I was like, okay, yeah. You know, but then when you, what you do, what you want to do here is that after having all these things, if you haven't already uh, gone through the pre-approval process, go through the pre-approval process because this is where you know your chances of approval. Because the last thing you want is to to apply, and then you realize that you have missed something, or you thought you actually were good, but you get the, you, you get declined, even though again you you thought you had a perfect credit score. Because because a lot of my friends, one thing I realized was that a lot of my friends, especially people with whom I hang out like more often, we're like about the same age uh, and what have you. They think they have perfect credit scores, but they never get a high limit through uh, Capital One. And after digging, like, you know, I told them, listen, it's, it's, this is just because, first of all, you don't go through the pre-approval process. And number two, you have to really pay attention to your DTI. Because the thing is, you could be making like, a, you could be making a, a lot of cash. But if you're spending as much on debt payments, that means that you're like in economics or investment banking, they use the term, uh, you are leveraged, you're over leveraged. So you, like you're the, the proportion of your debt versus uh, the proportion. The proportion of your debt to your income is just too high so that's why you know so that's one thing you have to be really pay attention to make sure that you are not over leveraged that your dti is kind of low or decent like anything below 30 percent is kind of cool so that you can actually uh, invite the satisfactory approval i mean satisfactory review from uh, from capital one and one thing i did after doing all that i actually submitted my application my credit card application and what i did was that I knew that uh, Capital One took some time to uh, to uh, to approve you. I did not want, so I applied online. Okay, Capital One has branches in some parts of the country, and usually, you, you know, if you know me, if you, if you've been hanging out with me, you know that I love to have all the applications done manually. But with Capital One, it was a little tricky because uh, they they don't cover like, first of all, they were a, a geo restricted bank because Capital One is a bank also. And number two, if you are able to find a like a, a state where Capital One is present to find a branch, that's like a, that's like really complicated. And uh, so that's one thing that you know I was like, so I could I could have gone to New York to like Manhattan because they have a lot of branches in Manhattan. I could have gone there, gone to one to their branches and apply there, right? But I say I don't have time right now. I have my business to develop, and I just so I applied online. So you can apply online, you can apply in person, you can, you can apply over the phone, or you can apply via snail mail. It's totally up to you. So the, thing, the good thing is when you apply online, you can actually get an answer right away. If, you're gonna, if you don't get an answer right away, that means that something is wrong with your application, and, uh, but it doesn't mean that you, are, that you are rejected. But the thing is, as soon as you actually are, are approved, which was my case, what, what you want to do is you want to create a repayment strategy. So what you want to do here is you want to know exactly how much you are going, how much you're going to charge on the card, on the Capital One card, credit card, and uh, how much you are going to pay. Bottom line is you want to repay whatever you charge because see, you're trying to have a 0% sort of, uh, you're not carrying balances because Capital One has two types of cards. You have actually three types of card. You have the corporate card. Those are the business card where you actually pay, repay everything that you charge on the card at the end of the month. You have the unsecured credit card, which is like your your traditional uh, credit card. Then you have the secure credit card, which is great, which are, are great for folks who are trying to build credit or rebuild credit. So what I love about the Capital One is that I love the, that flexibility. I love that ability to, to be flexible, but also making sure that so you want to create a repayment strategy so that you're not on the wrong side of Capital One ever. 
Okay, so you can use the card responsibly, but of course you can charge anything. You can you can re, you can pay anything you charge on the card, which you want to do anyway. So so if you want to really be uh, like like if you have a, a question, just always ask yourself: Can I afford this? If I were to pay, if I were to pay it with cash. The thing is that, uh, and this is something I want to say that if you want to apply for a Capital One credit card for the first time, there are certain things you have to. Uh, there are certain strategies you need to have and those strategies are different from if you were to apply for like the fifth time the tenth time or the twentieth time or the hundredth time basically certain things are similar there were other things are actually uh actually different first of all you always want to see if you can pre-qualify i mean because even if this is the first time meaning your social security number is not really rich when it comes to a credit data you, you still want to try anyway because see you, you don't know if the the algorithm bless you on that day if the algorithm decides to bless you on that day you will go through the whole process with no problem there are people whom i know the people that i know that uh, have gone through the whole process and there was no problem at all okay so trying to see if you can you can pre-qualify and then what you want to do after that is that you want to check your credit score and credit reports because the thing is that especially especially if you are a new let's say you are a new credit if, if you're new to credit if you are trying to get your credit card for the first time then that means you are kind of new to credit which means that your your records might be tempted might be uh what am i saying might be uh like uh it could be there could be a problem you know your 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 profile could be tempered with that's the word i was looking for tempered with so the thing is that somebody could, could actually be playing games with your fico scores and whatever your fico report so check your check out your reports to make sure everything is fine and then you want to consider starter credit cards so if you are applying for a credit card the first time, look for starter credit cards. And what are those starter credit cards? You have student credit cards. You have credit cards for fair or building credit. You have, and you also have secure credit cards. So when we talk, when we talk about starter credit cards, you have a, a trifecta of credit cards, secured, building or fair or building credit and student credit cards. And then you want to also explore the credit card rewards options, right? If you, again, it, it doesn't matter if you, if this is your first time applying for a Capital One credit card, still make sure that the, the card that you go after has uh, the, has the proper rewards for you. And uh, if you're able to, uh, if you're able to get it, that's fine. And uh, so once you have that, you can just uh, apply for your first credit card. Of course, I always want to insist on the fact that you want to consider pre-approval all the time. Now, if you have a secure credit card, you don't have to uh, be a pre to be pre-approved. But if you're looking for an unsecured credit card for fair or bad credit, you still want to actually, uh, you know, seek pre-approval first again, so that you have a clear idea that what you're getting yourself into in terms of uh, credit card application is kind of fine. So when you do all these things, if you do it properly, you'll be approved for a massive ass limits this is kind of cool you'll get whatever you want and capital one is very generous i mean as i said their apr is kind of high but uh, in terms of generosity in terms of uh the amount they will give you you will you will actually get a lot a lot of ca a lot of uh cash a lot of uh limits a high limits and this is kind of fine so this is really really good and i think uh you know this is exactly what i wanted so in terms of the credit card the capital one credit card that credit card that i applied for and got up that i applied for and got approved for it's the Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards Credit Card because I wanted to have a flat rate cashback card and I got it, you know, and I got it with a substantial limit, by the way. So, and on top of the uh, the 1.5 percent flat rate cashback that I got, that I get anytime me or my wife or, or our family just uh, swaps the card. So this is kind of cool.